Hey there, this is Ibai, a senior software engineer at Pixie. Right now, we are in Edinburgh controlling our underwater robots in Canada. Our game changing technology revolutionized autonomous underwater operations. They make sea, river, and lake inspections simpler and more flexible than even before. Our remote operation technology does not only make it easy for us to control the vehicles from afar, it also offers clients minimal training requirements and peace of mind with remote support and control in challenging environmental conditions. Our vehicles are highly reliable and very cost effective. They enable large scale deployments with minimal risk. This versatility means that they can be used alongside divers to inspect vast areas without limitations. Today, for instance, we are sending two vehicles on missions in Conception Bay, Newfoundland, Canada. They survey the seafloor, take pictures, and come back to the shore where our colleague is standing to recover them. Post-mission, we use the collected pictures to create three-dimensional models of the seafloor and of the assets that were surveyed. We're over here on the east coast of Canada at the Lodge facility, and uh, I've been working this week with Rudy who's uh, uh, works for CompuSalt and it's probably, what's your, what do you want me to call you? I guess that's the... Well, I'm the electronic systems manager for uh, this yeah, project. Yeah. I'm the field manager of the CMAS yeah. project we've been working on. All right, yeah, so the, the CMAS project is the uh, project uh, between uh, four or five different companies of which CompuSalt's the lead yeah. and CMAS is all about um, getting uh, different autonomous systems together running them through a centralized hub, which is uh, your Nanook vehicle. Nanook, yeah. And um, then being able to operate them remotely and autonomously and in different modes. So um, we've had our guys out in Scotland driving our Pixie vehicles here. Yeah. Everything's been talking through Nanook. So all the communications and telemetry has been coming back from your vehicles through Nanook and back through the cellular network in our vehicles and back to Scotland. Yeah, it's gone actually really well this week. Uh, we've managed to run a bunch of different missions here, and uh, as well as just uh, a bit further up the coast there in Chapels Cove. Chapels Cove, that's it, yeah. And um, yeah, just about to get back and process the data and you know, get some nice reconstructions of the features that are around here. So. No, it's been a very productive trip, and yeah. the project as a whole has been really good. Um, the intercommunication has worked really well. It took a while yeah. to get set up, like everything, but it's worked quite well. Um, especially with Pixie. Pixie is the one that's worked the well, the best. The communication with Pixie and you guys have been running missions like all week. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're, we're at the point now where we're kind of used to running a lot of missions and yeah, it's, it's cool just being able to link up all the systems and make everything work and you have yeah. the right people to do that too. And kind of like the conclusion now as well is a bit, a bit sad in a way it's coming to yeah. the end. So. Ah, we'll find some more <laughs> things to work together on in the future, I'm sure. All right, great. Well, thanks, uh, yeah, Rudy. It's a pleasure working with you. Yeah, looking forward to uh, getting back over here at some point. And obviously, if you're I'm over sure in Scotland, you then you're welcome to. I've never been, but I look forward to it. <laughs>